In this video, we will create the anime fighting effect in Wondershare Filmora. First, drop the Bruce Lee fight scene footage on track 1, then split the clip right before the hit. After a few frames, split the clip again. Go to the next hit, split the clip before the hit, and keep it for a few frames only. Repeat these steps for each hit or according to the desired length of the effect you want to create. Next, go to the stickers and select the Blockbuster Lightning Effect Pack. Choose the lightning effects that best fit the desired effect, such as electricity numbers 21, 4, and 19. Place the playhead at the first split part and drop the electricity effect 19 on track 2, right above the first split. Change the speed to 2x and reduce the duration of the electricity effect to match the main clip. Check the effect and zoom in on the timeline. Adjust the position of the effect as needed. Duplicate the first split part on track 3. Go to the AI tools and use the Smart Cut feature to isolate and cut out the person. This will create a realistic effect as if the person is getting hit. Select the effect clip, go to the video settings, and adjust the position and scale of the effect to align it with the hit point. Fine tune the electricity effect at the first point of contact. To create an aftershock, use electricity effect 4. Place it on track 2 right after the electricity effect 19. Split it after a few frames and delete the extra part. Increase its scale and adjust its position to place it on the person who was hit by Bruce Lee. If necessary, increase the duration of the aftershock. Move it to the next split part and drop electricity effect 19 on track 2. Keep it for a few frames and follow the same steps as for the first split part. Use different parts of the electricity effects 21, 19, and 4 to create variation in the electricity effects. Adjust the scale and rotation as needed. You can also use Kung Fu hit effects to make it more interesting. After completing all the hits, use electricity effects to create aftershocks where they're required. To hide the extra light on the black bar, apply cinematic bar effect. Then apply S-Log3 and change the opacity to 25% to match the duration. Now let's render it to see the final preview. If you're interested in more creative editing, check out filmora.wondershare.com.